And welcome back, this is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft II commentary. I am the Red Terran in the south, up against Swegs, the Blue Zerg in the north. Um, ooh, no answer to the good luck, have fun, that usually means a rush as far as I can tell. Uh, maybe that's just something I've noticed along the line. Um, if they don't answer back, it usually means a rush. Uh, the map is Desert Oasis. Uh, I'm very familiar with this map, as you guys probably know. Uh, my first three matches, I believe, were all on this map. Uh, so I do know it inside and out, as far as I can tell. I will be going for the standard uh, MMM build, as uh, I'm sure you guys know by now. Uh, we're seeing an early spawning pool from Swag, so that does usually mean a rush as well. Um, no gas yet. Um, what's that last one coming up? Uh, yeah, it's just getting the, the spawning pool. So, um, you can expect... Oh, there is the gas going up. Unfortunately, my SCV will be getting there too late. It is such a long map for ground units. Um, you have to go, you know, all the way around here just to get inside. So by the time my SCV gets there, already four Zerglings. Uh, and another two come up. Do I see those? Yes, I do. Uh, so I am expecting a rush. So I'm cranking out. Uh, I, I do get one Marine out to, to take out that Overlord. And I'm getting another one and putting up a second barracks. Uh, really should be getting a bunker. Um, because as you can see here, Swax is moving out with those six Zerglings. Uh, hoping to get some early harassment. Maybe even winning the game uh, with those six Zerglings. And this Marine, I don't think he saw the Zerglings. But it doesn't matter. I didn't see him up there anymore. Forgot all about him. But I do see the Zerglings down there. And so there goes my Marines. And I get one shot off on each. Uh, uh, on two Zerglings. And then here they come. Unfortunately, I did not finish the block off. If I had gotten even an add-on there, it would have finished it, I think. Um, so there does go the add-on. Unfortunately, I couldn't put it where I wanted it. And five Zerglings survived to take on my SCVs. So I, against my SCVs, will. They keep on telling me it's a bad idea. I take out the Zerglings. Um, What's he going for? He's Instead of continuing at the rush, he goes for a lair uh, with a roach warren. So we will be seeing roaches in this game. And he takes out most of my workers. But unfortunately, that quick zergling rush still leaves him behind on the harvesters. Uh, 11 to 10. Oh, and I just got a 12th one out. Uh, but he is getting gas. And I... Oh, I'm sorry. I am the 10. Wow. Wait, what's going on here? Ah, there we go. Just didn't have anybody on the on the gas, so there we go. Uh, I'm absolutely crushing him in terms of the minerals thanks to the mule, and we are even on the gas. And there are more Zerglings, so he did continue the rush after that lair went up and the Roachhorn went down. Uh, no roaches coming out yet, uh, sticking with the Zerglings. I do believe I finished the block off, but I could be wrong and they could go through that little hole there but i do have a marauder out so that should be do, that should do quite a bit of damage to uh to the zerglings actually now that i think about it, no it's bonus damage to armored wow i'm just messing up everything today and um here they come in and oh i am right that it is not fully blocked off but unfortunately i have enough uh, fortunately i have enough true stuff to fend that off uh, not finishing off all of them, but then as you can see, stim pack and concussive shells. Concussive shells is what I was thinking of. Uh, the marauders can slow down the enemies, which is so good against uh, zerglings, but they do not do bonus damage to zerglings. They do bonus damage against armored. Uh, he does have a spine crawl up in case I go for the counterattack. I am not. Um, I probably could uh, finish this game right now with a counterattack. He's only got uh, five Zerglings and a Scantipede um, along with that Queen. He is going for the second Queen. Um, 
and a spine crawler so I really could have uh, pushed back and won this game right here uh, but instead I try to focus on getting um, my economy back because even though I'm just keeping even thanks to that meal there I'm behind on uh, gas just now getting that second gas while his has been up and is fully um, saturated at this point so he's keeping the Zerglings at the watchtower while I'm continuing to, to build up my army. Um, I, of course, have a Urubu with uh, me, uh, as that should uh, be a match for the Scanopede there. And here we keep going. Oh, he is going for an expansion. Um, he's ahead in the, the uh, income so far, and he wants to keep that that way. Uh, just the one spine crawler, um, but lots of creep tumors. He's doing a great job of that early on. Um, maybe he could be doing a lot better, but it is pretty good for this level of play uh, to get that creep all the way to the expansion uh, so uh, the queen can get there uh, back and forth very quickly. And factory going down just for the starport. So I will have uh, Metavax out soon uh, that Urubu just does not want to leave my base and continuing um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before uh, wait, at this point in the game you pretty much want one SCV on supply depots constantly uh, there's no uh, reason for him to be going back because as soon as he goes back you'll be supply lock so constantly keep him on supply depots because I will be making a uh, mass uh, uh, my infantry ball will be continuing throughout the entire game as far as I remember I am getting a uh, weapons upgrade number one as well as oh I missed the combat shield I don't know if I ever caught that that I missed it, but they do have stim pack. Uh, I went down there just to make sure there wasn't an overlord so that when I got uh, the expansion he wouldn't see it early on. And a little weird with the creep tumors now, he is going to the left, um, I believe just to, to keep an eye on it. Remember that uh, the creep uh, does make it visible for the Zerg player. So if he keeps the creep all the way over here to the other side of the rocks, then he will be seen if I take those down. And the second hatchery is up. He is uh, not uh, transferring, uh, just letting it uh, grow by itself. That's not that great of an idea. You want to transfer, uh, you know, just the two uh, drones there isn't going to be enough. And as you can see, he's a little oversaturated on minerals out here. Uh, 25 it looks like so at least one too many and mute is coming out uh, there's the spire and the Nidus network um, but he's got no ground forces uh, to uh, go through that just one roach and 13 zerglings um, all of which have uh, five here where are the rest of those there's six more so uh, Zergling's kind of scattered all over the map. He's trying to lump them together, so he just keeps one Zergling on the watchtower. He's got an Overlord uh, scouting over here, trying to make sure, I guess, that I don't get the high yield. Although I think I could build it without him seeing it. It's a little um, off there. What would be a great idea is if he really wanted to, he could put the Overlord here and start generating creep. Um, that way, I would if I killed that overlord, I would still have to wait for that creep to go away before I could uh, build there. And there is my expansion. It is up. Uh, we should be seeing a transfer and a morph into an orbital command soon. Um, I still don't have as much uh, harvesters as he does. Uh, 25 to 36, he is smoking me in terms of harvesters um, and in terms of minerals, uh, but he is not spending it as well as I am. Uh, 1,000 minerals, 200 gas, as opposed to 450 minerals, 350 gas. 
So, oh, look in there. Uh, it goes down all the way to, to double digits on gas and 200 on minerals uh, while his numbers just continue to climb. Is he producing anything? Uh, he's getting an uh, armor upgrade and tunneling claws. Uh, for the zergling, for the roaches, I apologize. And here comes the mutas down for harass. I am completely unprepared for this. Luckily, I'm almost mined out, so it's not going to be that important. Uh, the transfer already happened. Um, I could be using more uh, gas, so I should be getting uh, the refinery up. Uh, my army is completely out of place for this harass, uh, but I do have a substantial army here, well enough to take out uh, his... Uh, his entire base really I could have uh, moved out at any time and won this game I believe uh, yeah just uh, one spine crawler still and um, one roach and uh, 14 zerglings scattered throughout the map uh, not any uh, trouble for 22 marines and 13 marines along with four medevacs uh, with a one upgrade on weapons and stim pack. No combat shield, but concussive shells. I'll do a number on those zerglings if I can get the marauders out in front early enough. So there's a better placement on the overlord. There's absolutely no way I can get that high yield experience without him seeing it. And uh, he's keeping overlords on all of the expansions here. And there go the mutas. Doing, oh, they're focusing down my orbital command first. Oh, now he is going for the SCV, so I will have to move them away. There's, like I said, not that much, uh, not that many minerals left. I send my medevacs in, and it does work. I do scare them off. These medevacs are empty. There is nothing in there, but it does uh, keep those uh, mutas away just long enough. Um, they do take down... Yes, they are going to take that down. One medevac. But there comes my army. As soon as it comes in, he runs away. And he's looping around. So he did put off my attack. I probably still could have gone out and um, just kept on producing the army um, and have what produced kill these mutalisks because they don't do very much damage. Um, just nine damage. And that's uh, considering I have 1,250 on these buildings. It would take him forever to uh, destroy these buildings by the time my army got up to his base. So there we go. Um, completely oversaturated here. 24, 25 um, SCVs. No meals out. Uh, just kind of saving that right now. And he puts the mutas in a very odd position off the map. Um, I probably could get one marine there, maybe two, to, to harass them, but it's not really uh, useful anymore. And as we can see, he's still got a lot of overlords on the map. 